Hello guys, this is PanzerMarcher36, and today's video is going to be a tutorial on how I made this beautiful street diorama here. Uh, it's not hard to make it at all, it took me about three days to make it, and I only need plaster, some sheets of styrene, uh, black paint, gray paint, light gray paint, white paint, and then I used a brown wash, as well as some uh, dusty pigment. And then for the, no, that was for the road, the sidewalk there, I used a little more different things like that. The grass here was a grass mat I bought which I also got the um, shrubs from. And uh, I'll zoom you in so you can see the effect I got on the road. I think it looks really cool actually. The stones are a bit large and, I don't think large, but they're kind of uneven if you really look at it close, but I don't know, if you're gonna make one, I think you should probably make it a little more smooth, but I think my diorama looks pretty awesome. And I'm gonna put my E50 on it. And uh, before the video really begins, I'd like to give a shout out to Mini Painter V, who inspired me to make this diorama. Uh, in his video, I'll put a link in the description. He did a similar thing, he made a little base and he used uh, clay. I used plaster to make the street, but he could use clay. I'd also like to thank uh, Davis Jacobs for giving me the idea to put some magazines along here just on the street to emphasize that there's been some fighting going on. Yeah, so, uh,. Hope you guys enjoy the video, and let's get to it. So here is a rough kind of outline of the diorama. I've got the E50 here, some uh, fuel cans, not to imply that the vehicles run out of fuel, which was kind of a problem the German army had in the late war era. I've got my uh, soldier here who's going to be kind of standing there looking at the vehicle as he marches by. And then I've <clears throat> on the upside here, you see I've got well, it's basically going to be like a sidewalk. I've used some, uh, actually it's a, a roof tile, asphalt roof tile. And I just flipped it upside down because the other side's quite thick, but it's going to be like a sidewalk or something like that raised up beside this road, which is going to be some kind of cobblestone road. And in the corner here, I've got a bit of grass. Now I've made a version of the base, but I just kind of like uh, made it out of some styrene sheets and I reinforced at the bottom. And that's to provide some more strength because the cardboard, if I'm going to put some sculpt mold on it, it's going to get all wet and then it will, you know, curve and stuff and fall apart. So I'm going to put some of this sculpt mold on it. It's basically like plaster, but the consistency of clay. And I'm just going to use this as like the uh, base for the street. And now here's the diorama after I put the sculpt mold on. It says it dries in about half an hour, but I made it a bit too too uh, a bit too wet. Um, so it's probably taking like more like 45 minutes to dry. And so now I can make some kind of cobblestone street texture. I'm not sure how that's gonna work, but you can also carve away at it after it's dried. So I just took my ruler and, you know, just made a bunch of lines in it, which actually looks pretty good. Now I'm going to do some horizontal lines with a knife probably, uh, but I'm not just going to make it squares, I'm going to make them offset, you know, like a real street is. Then I'm going to probably push down on a little more, kind of make it blend together, because that kind of 
rising up pretty high. <laughs> Alright, so here is all the, uh, all the flagstones that I made. Looks like a lot of work, but actually it probably took me about 10 minutes to, uh, put all the lines in there and do the sculpt molds in like 10 minutes. I've probably been working on this for less than 45 minutes so far. Um, yeah, but as you can see, if I can take the camera off, the, um, they're kind of like going up a bit, like especially that one there in the middle, you can see. And, uh, with Mr. Person here, you can see they're kind of massive, so I'm probably just going to take the ruler and gently push down on them, which should push them in a bit, make them more the same height, and it'll also probably fill in the cracks a little bit more, just to make some kind of mortar. But yeah, they also look pretty chewed up, but that's kind of what I'm going for, because it's supposed to be some kind of like bombed out town, so I think it looks really nice. Alright, so as you can see, that's actually, um, made some of them, like, you can see little groups over here, this bit here, it's kind of flat, but then you got kind of, like, broken up stuff here, more flat stuff, broken up stuff, because they've been drying, because I actually put three different batches on here, they've been drying at different consistencies, so you can see the ones over here, which were, um, dry earlier when I did that, they kind of crumpled up, but the ones here, they're more wet, are not very smooth, so I've got, you can see that I've got, like broken up sections and some kind of flat sections and stuff. It looks really cool. I've never done this before. I'm just kind of winging it. That's what I always do with everything I ever do. But I actually think that's really awesome. Now I've painted the street black and now I'm going to paint the stones uh, with. I'm going to do like a heavy dry brushing with XF77. So now I'm going to be giving the base a uh, wash. I'm going to use this very dark brown wash for making interactive. It's a nail wash for Operation Iraqi Freedom and other US vehicles. And I'm just going to thin it down a bit because it's already pretty thick. And then I'm going to give the entire street that wash because you can see there's still a bit of areas where there's some white showing. So I'm just going to thin it down probably about, it's, it's already a pretty thick wash, so I'm going to put in probably about uh, equal, slightly less than equal thinners. I get a big brush. complicated you just put it over the entire thing and now the wash is still wet I'm just taking my brush putting in the thinner bit and just kind of going over the top of the stones just to get the wash off the top, and instead it will kind of settle in the details. So just covering the entire thing. As you can see, it's not a very perfect design, so just kind of do it. And now I'm going to give the road a light dry brush with this fortress gray color. Which is, as you can see, a very pale gray.
Now I'm going to do another dry brush coat, this time with pure white. Oh, I think that looks pretty good actually, because I'm going to use a couple of colors on it. And the white really brings out the highlight. You can see it better without that the highlights. So now we're going to do some kind of weathering on this. I'm also going to work a bit on the sidewalk. Now I'm going to lightly dust the base with this dry mud pigment. Uh, from Make Productions. So after I put that pigment on, I uh, I then uh, redid the gray highlight, this one here. And then the white one, just very lightly, both of them on top of that. Uh, just because I thought the layering would look good, and it does. And for the uh, sidewalk up here, what I did was I I took um, the pigment, wherever it went, the dry mud pigment. And then I mixed it with um, thinner, as well as this stuff here, which is a game right of dust effects, and it's gray. So then the, uh, the mix of the beige and the gray got me this. Uh, concrete light color, I don't know, I like it. And I put some rubble up there, which is just... I'm not even sure what those are. I think that's leftover bits of uh, plaster or something like that. It was just sitting over here on my bench. I forgot what, I, what it came from. Uh, so overall, the diorama is pretty much done, actually. Uh, I've just got a few more little details to work on, as well as i got to finish up the sidewalk area here. And I've got the grass section. Uh, cut out right here. It's a bit of these uh, model scene grass mats. I've showed these on my channel before. You can, buy them. you can buy them, and they're just these big grass mats. So I just cut off a little bit of one, and then I'm going to put it in the corner here, just like that. And that'll look good with the rest of the diorama. As a final touch, I just added some little grass tufts that you can probably see along there. Coming from the larger of the cracks. Just adds a nice little touch to it. Makes it look a little bit overgrown, a little bit old. And to highlight the texture that I was given to me by the uh, asphalt roof shingle that this sidewalk is, um, I'm going to once again highlight it with this white, using white oil paints by the way, same one I used on the, on the rug for the final highlight. I'm just going to very lightly highlight the sidewalk, I should lighten it up a little bit too. And now what I did was I just gave the pieces of rubble uh, washes and also gave them the same white highlight that I gave the, the sidewalk. And now that that is finished, what I've got here are some magazines. As you can see, I've got a 2G43, uh, MP40, and STG44 magazines. And... Uh, uh, those were suggested me. Well, it was suggested to me by a friend, uh, Davis Jacobs, that I should put some of those just around to kind of emphasize that there's been a battle going on. I thought that's a great idea, so I'm just going to put some of them on the sidewalk and on the road. Yeah, I think they'll add a nice touch of the diorama. And there you can see it was one of the magazines there. Got another one of the magazines over here, and then I've got two more over here. Over there, as well as a bench that came in the Tammy figure set. I just painted that up and gave it a wash. And that's it. Diorama is finished. I've got my figure here.
that I uh, did in the bigger paint tutorial. And uh, I really like the diorama. It was not that hard to make. I only took a black paint, gray paint, light gray paint, white paint, um, and then a brown wash. That's all I did on the road, as well as the pigment, but that that's kind of optional. I don't really need the pigment. And then the sidewalk there was the was the dust effects and the pigment. And the grass here is the mat, and so are these. All these little shrubs I put are taken from a similar grass mat. So, uh, yeah, I hope this video helped you guys out. hope it uh, inspired some people to try uh, making a street diorama like this. I think it looks really nice, and it was not hard to make. It took me two days to make this. Uh, well, three days, actually, because I had to wait for the plaster to dry. But hope this video inspires you to make a diorama like this, because it looks really awesome. And it's a nice street diorama. Uh, I don't know. If I were to make it again, I'd probably make the stones a little more flat because this place looks pretty banged up but you know what I like it so thanks for watching the video guys if you have any questions or comments please post them below and well, if you post any videos like this make sure I watch them see how I see how uh, you make your street diagram and stuff like that so thanks for watching guys this is Panther 36 goodbye